Hey, so in this video, we're going to be talking about another um, 3D printer um, tips and tricks. So FDM 3D printer tips and tricks, as well as oh, this will work for any 3D printing technology. And that is the 3D printing mindset of uh, how you set up your machine. Because half of 3D printing is actually 3D printing things. And the other half is the hardware and software of what you how you use a 3d printer and optimizing those to get the best uptime as well as the best final product so what is the mindset uh, that you need to maintain in order to keep in order to maximize that and uh, this one can you can kind of skew it in any way that you uh, think about it pretty much every way you skew it to would work and uh, benefit you so here I have an Ender 3 I'm gonna be talking to, uh, it looks like a newer Ender 3 uh, I'm gonna be talking about this time that I did some maintenance for a friend on a small I think it was like a 15 Ender 3 uh, print farm now when I was Working with that friend, I was babysitting these printers to print this, basically this ball. And each of these printers had something wrong with them. Now, the my, the wrong mindset that I had is, hey, I'm going to, when something's about to go nuts, uh, I'm going to step in and fix it really quick and let it continue, right? Uh, that is not the correct mindset to have because basically what happened is at one point I was doing something else because I was also, while I was babysitting them, I was doing some other things. And to be honest, I didn't quite need to be there if I would have used this mindset. And what happened is it had a critical failure and then failed apart like three hours in after I'd been babysitting it in person for three hours. Now, um, Against common belief, 3D printers are really designed to be autonomous pieces of equipment. Not autonomous, like, continuous production machines, but to print from start to finish. They shouldn't really need to be um, babysat. Now, obviously, for a discla legal disclaimer, uh, I suggest that you are present to prevent something like a fire or anything like that happen, some sort of electrical issue, because you can lose all your assets and possibly your life if your printer... Uh, light your house on fire. So um, legally, they shouldn't be unattended, but uh, design-wise and technology-wise, they should 100% work unattended. So what I should have done instead of having that print issue is I should have pot I should have either uh, canceled the print, pulled that part off, fixed the issue, and then ran the print again because when I noticed the issue, I think it was only an hour in. So basically, all together, if I waited another three hours before it failed, all together I've wasted four hours of time. And at the end of that four hours, I still had a printer that could not run autonomously. And so I just wasted four hours of my, my own time and my client's time. So what should have happened is paused it, took the print off, the print that was having issues, fix the issue, and then start again. So don't uh, delay an issue. When you see an issue fix it. Another uh, thing that I had is um, on the Bamboo Labs that I just got uh, recently. I got the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, uh, which has so far been a great printer, except for there is a maintenance thing, which er, er, there's maintenance things on everything. And it is the carbon fiber rods that they use on the X axis to keep the X axis light. Um, They're not as hard as a s chromed steel rod. And so what happens is over time, uh, the carbon fiber will end up building up a powder as well as the prints. They'll stick a little bit better to, the, to, the, um, to these uh, carbon fiber rods because most likely they're not using roller ball bearings. They're using bushings. And so what will happen is that powder will get stuck inside of these bushings and it will cause it to uh, stick and then cause it to skip steps. So when I was printing, it was printing ovals. Now, I scrapped a whole bunch of parts for work and, you know, embarrassingly gave those parts to uh, co-workers to say, hey, will this work instead of talking to Bamboo Labs, diagnosing the problem and fixing it. And to fix the problem, which was just to clean the X rods and I also cleaned the Y rods, it took maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 
and yet I wasted three or four prints with two different uh, co-workers because I do a lot of printing for work. And so I gave two to three different prints to two separate co-workers and said, hey, is this okay? Which is basically me saying, hey, I think this is okay. Can you use this? Which is not appropriate. Um, so I should have stopped. Once I saw the issue, I should have said, hey, I'm sorry, there's an issue with this. I haven't seen this issue before. I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to get back to my tolerances that I normally do because it was printing an oval at 45 degrees, and it was like 60 thousandths out of round, right, which normally I can, with the Bamboo Labs, I could hit plus minus 3 easily all day long, sometimes plus minus 5, right, and so this was 12 times the error that it should be. So I should have stopped figuring out what the issue is, and it would have taken me one email. It took me one email to figure out while I was also looking at it uh, because I wanted to also ask Bamboo Labs, hey, do, do you have a maintenance uh, schedule that you recommend for these printers? And so in that one email, they said, hey, here's an article that we wrote to fix this issue. I followed the article. Boom, you're back up. But this could be the same thing as asking uh, on a forum or anything like that. So you really want to keep this uh, mindset when you're running a printer. Uh, there should not be any issues that cause it to have reliability problems. If there is issues, stop and fix those issues and then resume, right? That will save you time, uh, That will, which is time is money, and that will save you money on material, and uh, that will also save you uh, your word which in this case, I messed it up with my coworkers, right? You know, obviously I'm exaggerating, but, um, and also uh, your sanity too and things like that and your your faith in your printer, right? And of course, it, it's always great to know what's wrong with it and then be able to figure out how to fix it and how to keep it fixed, right? So now I'm going to have a maintenance plan where I make sure that that printer is up uh, continuously, Right, And that's one of the things I'm going to be looking out for and one of the things that I have scheduled and do every so often. Anyways, all right, guys, so that is the mindset to get the best out of your 3D printer. Any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments. Uh, I teach this on Udemy. I teach a beginning, fusion, uh, not, I teach a beginning CAD classes as well as uh, a beginner uh, FDM class, and then also I'm working on an intermediate FDM class. So this is actually, this is one of the topics from the intermediate FDM class. The links will be in the description. Go ahead and check it out if you like my style of teaching and want to look at more form educate, uh, more long form education and a lot more content on each of those subjects in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.